Hey there Living Jets Harris. Today we will be reviewing Singapore Airlines in economic class and I am right now here at Dubai Airport Terminal 1. We will be flying the brand new A350 and I am super excited to be flying Singapore Airlines because I have heard great great reviews about it and I'm today I am going to test it out myself. So join me on this journey. So we have finished uh, immigration and security and it was pretty easy and not much rush at the immigration. We used the smart gates which was quite efficient and effective uh, and it's uh, the smart gates are basically for residents of UAE and also those who have biometric uh, passports. So now we are walking towards the duty free and to our gate and I think from this concourse to concourse D we need to take a train to get there. This is a train that we take to get to Concourse D and uh, gives you fantastic views of the apron and the runway in the distance. So we have just got off the train and we have reached Concourse D and right behind me is the fabulous world famous Dubai Duty Free. So we are going to give you a slight sneak peek and in case you're traveling out of Dubai, here's what you can shop for. Trust me, there's a lot on offer. Come. And there we go, uh, the Singapore Airlines flight has just arrived from Singapore and there she is in all its glory, the Airbus A350 and it's supposed to be one of the most fuel efficient aircraft in the world today. So looking forward to this journey on Singapore Airlines in economy. So it looks like we're gonna have a full flight onto Singapore and I'm not actually surprised because Singapore is a major transit hub and one of the um, actually one of the most beautiful airports also so and people uh, actually connect to various destinations from singapore so not really surprised that it's going to be a full flight and uh, once the boarding begins uh, i want to experience the singapore hospitality which singapore airline is very famous for and also looking forward to some great uh, dinner on board the aircraft so boarding has begun and apparently it's boarding according to zones but well unfortunately people just don't seem to get it to board according to zones so everyone's just crowded at the gate. But boarding has commenced now and we're making our way towards the aircraft. Uh, the boarding process is not that smooth but that's okay and we're making our way to the aircraft now. No. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank How you. you? Good. Welcome Thank you, you so much. Key will be on the other side. Thank you so much. Hello. A forty-three K. Thanks. And that's the seat, that's 43k. Well, it's nice to find a blanket and a pillow already at the seat, so that's pretty good. Uh, let me make my way and give you a seat review in a while. So you have a pillow and a blanket here at the seat already. Well, quick uh, first impression, crew nice and welcoming and invitation to Etel 
they actually gave us some nice uh, amenity kit like a care kit so I think that has a mask in it and some bacterial wipes and disinfectant wipes so that's a good thing in times of the pandemic and uh, pretty good leg room pretty good leg room um, you also have a charging point here and yeah nice and clean uh, tray table so that that's good there's a pouch here good interactive screen and it's touch screen and it's a nice uh, 15 inch screen so uh, we'll give you a bit of feedback on the entertainment options in a while so the entertainment here is Chris World and it's a very nice interactive screen in fact and um, let's check out what's on it oh so you have your Hollywood movies you have favorites and the regional Asian uh, channels you have some oh that's good let's check out if they have some of the oh this is nice the 2022 Oscar buzz also I wonder if Will Smith will be on that just kidding and let's check out the new releases oh this is good they have like quite a good selection of movies available on option here so it's actually a good thing that uh, if you're on a long haul flight on Singapore Airways and I think you'll have sufficient entertainment here so the entertainment system actually looks quite good just outside we have an aircraft of Mahan Air and I think that's an Airbus uh, 320 and we are right next to the wings here so we are in the forward zone of uh, the aircraft so we are all set for pushback now the aircraft configuration is uh, business premium economy and then economy so we are seated right now in the forward zone row and just a tip for all of you if you fly with Singapore Airlines is uh, we didn't pay anything extra for booking the seat but uh, when you book the ticket uh, there are charges if you want to book ahead but if during check-in if the seats are available you can just select them free of cost and that's what we did well the departure was supposed to be 8 and right now it's already almost 8.10 um, so I wonder what's the delay we have a mask and finally we have pushed back 15 minutes late but I guess they okay, make it up Ladies and gentlemen, for your safety, it is important to pay attention to the video which will now be shown. Welcome aboard Singapore Airlines. As the safety equipment on this aircraft may differ from that on other aircraft, please give us your attention as we bring you through this important safety briefing and on a journey through Singapore. That's a very nice uh, safety instruction video. So good, good on you Singapore Airlines. I think that really keeps people attentive on the safety video. And I love how they incorporated the Singapore culture in showing the video and the various tourist Make attractions. Make sure that your seat belt is securely Uh, pass takeoff and meal services begun and it seems they're very efficient 
and uh, looking forward to this meal now and for the options uh, so there are no printed menu cards and where there's a QR code that you can scan off and then have a digital menu so for dinner tonight is fish and chicken and I think I'm gonna go with the chicken with some white wine along with it thank you so much Okay, so meal service has begun and I'm really excited. Uh, so I've had ordered the chicken. And let's see what we have here. We have some ice cream. Uh, the chicken with some rice and some vegetables. Uh, water. Some bread. Some butter. Milk. And I've got some white wine along to go with it. So, cheers. So, it's always nice when the airline serves you steel cutlery. Now, I really hate it when they serve you this plastic thing. Steel cutlery is the way to go. So, let me dive right in the chicken. Here we go. Let's try this. Good flavor in the chicken and the, the rice is nice and soft. So I think I'm gonna enjoy this. Well I just finished my dinner and it was a bit spicy the chicken but delicious. Ice cream time. I wonder what flavor is this is. Butterscotch flavor. Very nice. I don't remember the last time I got ice cream on a flight. So our flight time to Singapore is 6 hours and 15 minutes and with the meal service done, I think I'm going to watch a movie and catch on some sleep and let's see how that goes. But before that, I'm going to make my way to the restroom and give you a washroom review. Well, it's time for the washroom review and on this aircraft, it's, it's quite spacious, the washroom and it's nicely well maintained and you have basic amenities. In fact, uh, if I could pan the camera around and show you, you even have disposable toothbrushes which is a nice thing like I mean I'm sure a lot of passengers would want to brush their teeth and I never saw that on any aircraft before having disposable toothbrushes so that's a good thing you have some hand you have some hand lotion over here and some basic liquid soap so back to the seat now and uh, I really love it how Singapore airline does this uh, mood lighting so the cabin uh, lighting is beautifully done and it's nice and dimmed out so you can actually relax and it gives you a nice warm feeling. Another fascinating feature on this flight is that there is two hours of Wi-Fi provided to you absolutely free. Uh, the only thing what you got to do is uh, you got to register on the Chris Flyer app, the Chris Flyer Plus app and then connect to the Wi-Fi on board and you get it absolutely free for two hours which is a great thing in economy, sitting in economy you get to use Wi-Fi on board of flight. So I think I'm going to take a nap and probably get back to you guys once we are about to uh, land or probably when we are about to reach Singapore. Ciao. Good morning guys, so we've begun our descent into Singapore. It's early morning here, it's 6.30. Uh, little bumpy uh, turbulence getting into Singapore. Talking about the crew service, uh, a little disappointed once the meal service was served. They did not come around asking if we needed anything. Well, maybe that could have been that they did not want to disturb the passengers as it was a red-eye flight and people were sleeping. So, I would rate the crew service as average.
Hey guys, so I've just arrived at Changi Airport and it was a nice flight. I managed to catch a bit of sleep and feels good to be back in Singapore. So overall, I had a good experience. Uh, what do you think about it? And I hope you guys will like this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until we come again with the next flight review, this is the Living Jet Setter signing off. Until we